What have I learned here? More than we have time to recount this evening, but the enduring lessons through the decades are these. It's not the questions that get us in trouble. It's the answers. And just as important, no one person has all the answers. Hello, I'm Peter Mansbridge. I'm a network television journalist based in Toronto, but I live in Stratford, Ontario. Ever since I moved to Stratford 10 years ago, I've been impressed by the city's creativity and its energy. So it's exciting to hear that Stratford has been named one of the world's smart 21 intelligent communities for 2011. It's quite an achievement for a small city of 32,000, especially when you consider there were 400 other cities who applied from around the world. I'm talking to Tom Johnston, the press secretary for Lyndon Johnson, who has reported that uh, the 36th president of the United States died this afternoon in an uh, ambulance plane on the way to San Antonio. Uh, you know, this big brouhaha when I finally left in 1976 and went to ABC to become the first woman anchor of an evening news program. Um, I've always said that it was, it's so overrated. What difference does it make whether it's local or network? It just means more stations. But there was still that feeling of a woman couldn't To do my it. fellow journalists, in places where reporting the truth means risking all. And to each of you, courage. For the CBS Evening News, Dan Rather reporting. Good night. But visas will be granted, it is said, immediately or at least urgently by police stations all over the country. It is perhaps the most important announcement made in Central Europe since the end of World War II, certainly since the wall went up in 1961. We will not walk in fear, one of another. We will not be driven by fear into an age of unreason if we dig deep in our history and our doctrine. And remember that we are not descended from fearful men, not from men who feared to write, to speak, to associate, and to defend causes that were for the moment unpopular. This is no time for men who oppose Senator McCarthy's methods to keep silent, or for those who approve. We can deny our heritage and our history, but we cannot escape responsibility for the result. One study found that 15% of U.S. high school students had seriously considered suicide. This film is a poignant reminder that straight A's and high SAT scores are not the holy grail. We all want our kids to excel, but I'd take a happy child over a depressed success any day of the week. Which is where we now are. But if things are not quite as bad as Morrow feared, if sometimes, in fact, television news is a little better than anyone expected, that is due at least in part to the fact that Fred Friendly, loud, imperious, demanding, unrelenting, driven, and passionate Fred Friendly made it so by the force of his personality and by his example. big difference between the United States and Britain and indeed any presidential system and, and a monarchy like Britain. It is that in a country like the United States the identity of the nation is tied up in a flag an anthem and an elected Doing person. a daytime show, it's, there's going to be a lot of you know, interaction with the audience, a lot of interaction with viewers at home, and I think it's going to be uh, kind of showing different sides of myself, and therefore it's kind of going to be fun and going to give me energy as opposed to uh, be you know, tiring and exhausting.